Hey, what's going on all you nerds and turds? This is your boy 3 Fox, and today I'm coming at you with another how to make a texture pack video. Today we're going to be dealing with the particles. Um, I chose to do particles because a lot of uh, the nerds on HCF that I play with, apparently I, they think I steal particles or something. To be honest, that, that's a pretty good compliment because, I mean, that means I'm doing a pretty good job, am I right? So basically, I'm going to show you how to make it... Um, 1024 by 1024 uh, These particles are more high res So I'll get to these first because the crit and sharpness are probably the most important and then uh, Down here the potion like the drinkables and splash potions. They're pretty simple I'll just show you how to do it, but basically for the uh, crit and sharpness what you're gonna want to do create a new do like 200 by 200 okay Take this and delete that. Zoom in a little bit. Now basically, if you wanna do your own thing, you can. What I do, come to shapes and just pick a shape that you wanna use for your things because it's a lot of extra work to do all that other stuff, to be honest. So let's say, um, actually, you know what? Let's use these, yeah. So make, Hold shift when you do it so it's even. Take the club, I'll make it like that. Then click this, make sure there's no transparent pixels. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna wanna make this a little thicker. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. All right, so now basically what you wanna do, come in here and like these extra pixels, cut these, just make it, make it look nice. See how that looks. All right. Now let me go like. Yeah, that looks better. Basically, just clean up the edges and stuff, make it look better, nicer. Now I'm gonna come around here. Actually, I should just start it right here. Shit. I'm not very good with this tool. There we go. All right, so basically I'm gonna do that to the edge. Come here, effects, noise, grain. Or I said grain. Effects, noise, median. Basically just rounds it out. Um, do I like that? Yeah, I like that more. Alright, so now I'm just gonna do it to this side, same exact thing I just did. Bring you back. Alright, so here we are with our shit. Oop, I just noticed this. Let me delete that. So now we got our outline shape. What I'm gonna do for this, um, I want this to be black. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do just to make it look better. All right, take the wand, select in here and in here. Take your black, make it a little brighter black. And then I'm gonna take the gradient, it's gonna be like black and white. Let's see what that's looking like. I like that. So now, what I'm gonna do, you can go back so that's selected, come to blurs, average blur, give it a little bit of a blur. And just uh, Combine the layer, uh, make duplicate and combine the layers now so there's no transparent. And basically, it just makes it a little smoother around the edges. And to be honest, I like this. Yeah, I like this. So, what I'm gonna do, take these pixels out. And yeah, what I'm gonna do, this will be the crit. Yeah, I'll make this the crit. So, let me do that here 
This first one is the critical, and this is the sharpness, by the way. So I'm gonna come here, take this. Oh shit, I let go. Cut that. Come here, copy, paste. Um, I forgot that this, no, I'm gonna do it that way because I don't, I don't like how that looks. I forgot 200 by 200 is if you got some 248 by 248, uh, pixels. And 100 by 100 is for the 1024s, but usually I make, uh, 2048. So I'm gonna just resize them to that. Again, make sure nearest neighbor is on whenever you resize anything. Now, I can paste this, and it's perfect almost. Just like that, and then voila. So now, come here, delete that one. And then come over here and delete this whole image, because we don't need that no more. We already put the pixel there. Now I'm going to come here, and I'm going to choose uh, this spade that's right next to this club. So it's like a clubs and spades, or whatever the fuck. It's a good size. All right, then again on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the median to round these edges out. Come right here, and select it from right here. Select that too. Effects, noise, median, round that out. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and bring you guys back. All right, so I'm back. So now with this one, I gotta select the spade color. Oh, I made it. Yeah, I might wanna fix that. I made it the inside color. Then I made the other one. Let me cut that down like that. Two, one, two. Bing, bada, boom. There we go. Yeah, I like that. So now, let me just select this. It's all going to be selected. Oh, sorry. Select that. Make it all black. There we go. So now, basically, for this one, this is going to be the sharpness, which is the one you're going to see the most, more than the critical. So you want it to be a different color so that you can know like when you get the criticals. So I'm gonna select the insides of these, make sure everything's good, yep. All right, so what color should I do for this? Let's say I want to do a, what would look good with black? Grayish? I don't know, let's see. Here, go to our uh, photo. I mean, uh... all right. Then, once you got this selected, come up to effects, go to stylize, outline, basically bring the intensity all the way up. What thickness should I make it? Probably one of like. Like that. So then do that. Then take this white. And let's make it like a. This. How does that look? That's alright. Fuck it. We can do it. We can work with it. So then what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna choose this, all of it. Come up to effects, go to blurs, Gaussian blur. Blur it up to there, like five. I think that looks good for that. Duplicate layers, so there's no transparency. Merge them all together. 
then you got that. Alright, my bad. Fucking a bunch of shit was happening in Discord. So basically, to do, you take this, copy it, right? Add a new layer, paste it. Take the layer, put it below, and unselect. Come to effects, blurs, Gaussian. them together yeah I think that's gonna I think that's good I should try and get eh, I don't know how I feel about it to be honest but this uh, basically you guys see the whole thing you just I, I just don't like this shape really I never tried something with a shape like this but I'm gonna take this Outline it. Actually, what I should do, take the wand, see if I can do something like that. Oh, I forgot to open it. Take it all, select this all. Ah, uh, this is gonna be the annoying part. There we go. So now we got that selected, copy, paste onto here. And there we go. Now the particles are in. The crit and the sharpness. So next up, we gotta work on the potions. So basically this is splash potions for the insta health. And then this is like uh, if you drink an invis or a speed or whatever. So I create a new layer. And basically for these, just use a shape. So say I want, um, what type of shape do I want? Um, say I want a target. Yeah. Hold shift. Do something like that. Make sure it's white. And then do this. Basically, it's just making it bigger and uh, bigger and bigger and smaller and smaller. So um, this is pretty simple. If it's like a different uh, a different picture you're using, like a different uh, whatever. I'm using the target. If you're using a different shape then you might want to be spinning it around and stuff, how these little swirls get to spinning and stuff, but it's completely up to you. So basically, I just make it bigger and bigger. It's easier to see invises this way too, if you make them bigger and bigger. And uh, a lot of them, you'll notice texture packs stop off at like this particle or something. Keep them extra particles there. It's easier to see full invises. So now you got that done, and now it is time or um, the in, uh, fucking insta house. To find a shape I want to use for these. Let me use. I don't want to do hearts because I already did that. Let's say I want little triangles. Yeah, screw it, little triangles. So these you choose black on the outside. And then I just spin them as I go. And 
then what you do, you got the outlines done for all that, come back to your background, select all these, and cut them. So now it's just your, um, what you made for the particles. Go back to your layer, choose these, Hold control so you can do all of them at the same time. And then take white, hold sh hold shift, white damn it. I was on control. Hold shift and then boom. Now they're all pasted white. So now you want to do this separately because basically if you do it all at the same time, they're all the same blur. It's not gonna look the same like as good with the shading so what you do I'll take this go to blurs average blur do that boom this one blur average blur that still looks good boom take this one blur And then I'll do something like that and then once it starts to get bigger like this I come down to photo big netty basically you want to darken the edges like that so basically that's how you do the smaller ones and then once they get bigger you do that so I'll bring you back when I got all of them done all right so now that I got all these done you might notice there's like uh, transparent pixels as you go through like look at that so basically you're gonna duplicate your layer a whole bunch of times not transparent anymore now just combine them all of them bada bing bada boom you did your particles um, those are really the only particles I mess with to be honest these don't really matter to me they're just the dripping particles heart of villager gives off note block from uh jukebox or whatever it is torches water bubble and um a fishing rod water bubbles some more this is like if you kill someone or some tnt goes off and stuff that's what these are and yeah that's basically all i mess with i do the main stuff all it is is sharpness critical drinkable pots and then throwables so i'm gonna go put them on in game and let's see how they're looking all right so basically i had just logged on um as you can see i still got the sword and the the two swords from uh the last video on this pack uh this is basically gonna just turn into the tester pack we'll see what happens with it but uh drink this you can see the little targets I kind of like that. I actually do like that. So now, let's just. Oh shit, you're gonna see him more on me than him. <laughs> it's fucking me up. But basically, you see the uh, spades and shit. I like how that looks actually. And you can see the little triangles from the. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you. You can see all the little uh, triangles. I like how that looks. It looks nice. Yeah, these particles actually look real nice. I might actually use these particles in a pack. But yeah, guys, that basically sums up the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. Uh, go back to my first video if you want the link for the paint.net and the downloads. And yeah, check out my other videos for more texture packs. Like the video if it taught you something new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.